guys. I'm so sorry. I'm, I'm like, what, two, three minutes late. I like to be on time. So when you have first hop on here, just say hello. Let me know you're here and I'm not alone. <laughs> We're going to be making the uh, low carb. Some people call it keto. I think it's, I think you can use it for either one. Uh, low carb slash keto sweet potato casserole, which I'm excited to make for you guys. So when you come on here, if you will go ahead and get yourself out a paper and a pen, um, I really need your participation in this. Um, I do not have a recipe that I'm going to use. I have a few ingredients, but it's going to be my recipe. So um, I don't have nothing to write with. Yes, I do. Because I'll be writing this recipe as I go along because, like I said, this is going to be my recipe. I'm making it up right now. I do have a uh, couple of the ingredients, um, but as far as the recipe, it's going to be mine. <laughs> So if you'll do me a favor, first of all, I need to find out who's here and see if you will participate with me. So let me know if you're here. Vicki, you're here. Yay. Um, Vicki, would you do me a favor? And every time I say an ingredient, would you type it out in the comments for me so that the recipe will actually be in the comments uh, so I can go back later and look at it myself because it's going to be my recipe. Say, give me a thumbs up. If you will do that for me, it'll be great. Just type in the ingredient that I'm using. That way I'll know if you're doing it. There's three of you on here. <laughs> hey, you guys. We are making a low-carb sweet potato casserole today. I've been up on my feet like a long time. I made some homemade rolls. I'm in a cooking mood because I've been really busy, and I'm going to be busy later. But I made some homemade keto rolls, and I made some pork chops. Bridget says, hello, looking forward to the recipe. Can't stay online now. Okay, Bridget, be sure you come back for the recipe. Um, I'll, we're going to try to type it out. All right, so do me a favor again one more time. If you will do me a favor and type it out as I say it in the comments, that would be great. That way I can actually go back and find the recipe myself. But I did find this. I could probably just write it myself. All right, ready? All right, here we go. So, a lot of people are saying, how in the world can you get a sweet potato casserole uh, on a keto diet? Because, you know, oh, Bridget, that's great. Thank you. So, um, you know, sweet potatoes are really high in carbs. Now, if you're going to choose to eat low carb, it's actually not a bad carb for you. It's really healthy. It's got a lot of vitamins in there, things that your body does need. Um, but most of us on here are keto, so you can either use the sweet potatoes and make this very same casserole, or there's other things you can use uh, in place of sweet potatoes like I was going to get actually I did butternut squash is a little bit lower than sweet potatoes in net carbs but not much difference but it tastes delicious and uh, butternut squash actually can taste just like sweet potato but we're going to do two things together today that y'all are going to be like ew but everybody promises me that this is really an amazing recipe so are you ready here you go so, remember, this is only my recipe. I have a few ingredients that others said. The rest of it's going to be mine, so write it down <laughs> in case I forget it. So, I went ahead and softened um, some cauliflower and drained it really good. I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Get that out. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my food processor because I want it to get smooth. I know, I know. You're saying right now, what? cauliflower everybody promises me you can't tell once you start mixing the, the pumpkin and everything in there so let me go ahead and put that in there first mm, I'm supposed to actually mix this up first before I put the pumpkin in there so let's just go ahead and do what I'm supposed to do with the cauliflower stuff because I've never made it I just know that I can't hardly wait to eat it I remember the last time I did this I messed this thing so bad I figured it out. All of you guys that are watching, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have that in here, and I went ahead and I got it pretty smooth. So now I'm going to that, I'm going to go ahead and add a whole can of 100% pumpkin. This one here is Libby's brand. There's other brands out there. Do not get pumpkin pie filling because there's sugar in it. This is just pure pumpkin. Read your labels. If you're doing keto and you're trying to be careful, read your labels. So I'm going to go ahead and put a can of uh, pumpkin in here, the whole can. Oh, by the way, as far as the cauliflower goes, um, I put, I had a very large, large 
head of cauliflower. I put a little over a fourth of uh, cauliflower in here. That's what I did. Um, and of course, everybody's gonna make it their own. In fact, I always encourage people, make it your make it your own. Add what you like into it. Get, in fact, this is what I do about a lot of things. I find out what some of the, the main ingredients are, and I'll just put a spin on it and make it my own and put my stuff in there. Um, sometimes you just need a base to work from. Hi, Nancy. Katrina. Y'all are amazing. Thanks for being on here. Okay, can of pumpkin, 100% pumpkin. About a fourth of a large head of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, of cauliflower that I softened and I made it soft by beating it to pieces. All right, and to that, I am going to add, uh, let me go ahead and spin this up together first. And you guys, like I said, I'm making this exactly the way I make my regular, uh, my regular sweet potato casserole. Everybody loves it. saw that as a boom <laughs> oh my gosh okay to this I'm gonna add one egg when I'm making when I'm using regular sweet potatoes they're not as moist as this so I would usually add a couple of eggs but I'm gonna add one egg because I'm gonna add some more liquid to it one egg I'm gonna add some butter I'm gonna actually add now I love butter in my um, sweet potato casserole so I am going to add Probably about three tablespoons. Hold on just one minute. Well, I've got to I gotta soften it. I forgot. I'll be right back. I just got it soft. That's all I wanted to do is just get it soft. All right, so I put like three tablespoons of butter in here. Soften. All right, I'm just throwing everything in here, you guys. All right, to that, I'm going to add my spices. I'm going to add some ground cinnamon. And I think I'm going to add probably to this about, about a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. All right, and to that, and I may make changes later, I don't know. To that, I'm going to put in some allspice, about a fourth of a teaspoon, or about an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice. Allspice tastes so good. All right, and to this, I'm going to go ahead and add my sweetness. Now, I'm a brown sugar girl, love brown sugar, and um, a lot of people just put white in there, which is fine. You know, like I said, make it your own, but this is what I make. I like mine dark, and I like the warmth. The I don't know. It's like comforting, the uh, the the way brown sugar tastes in food. So it just it's like a comforter. So I am going to use some Truvia. This is what I'm going to use. It's Truvia and Splenda. It's naturally sweet with stevia sweet leaf. Anyway, this is really good, Truvia. So I'm going to put about a teaspoon of this in there because Truvia is very sweet. And I may be adjusting the sweetness. I don't know. I will tell you this. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, y'all. That is my phone. And I can't get to it to define it. I did. I got to it and declined it. Okay. So I put a teaspoon of, of that in there, the Truvia. Now I'm going to use super and gold brown sugar. Um, usually I put swirl brown, but I don't have any. So I am going to put a teaspoon, I mean a tablespoon of this in there. It's a heaping <laughs> and a half. You can't have sweet potato casserole without being sweet. And like I said, you make it your own. If you don't like it that sweet, that's fine. Don't make it that sweet. All right, and to that I'm going to add a little bit of whip, heavy whipping cream. And I am probably going to add, I don't know, a couple tables, maybe a tablespoon and a half. I'll just make two. 
Like I said, I'm making it up as I go. I hope y'all write this down. It's a two tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. Y'all, I've always been a fly by the seat of your pants type of person. And cooking, I love to cook, love to put flavors together. So um, this is something I'm actually used to doing. All right, and y'all, I'm gonna try something I've never tried. I saw this on a recipe, maple extract. I don't know, this is not something I've ever done before. So I'm gonna put, let's see how much, about an eighth, about an eighth of a teaspoon of maple extract in there. Just wanna see what it tastes like, because everybody says it's good, I don't know. Okay, about an eighth of a teaspoon is a half of a fourth. All right, just to give it a hint of maple. Let's see, is there anything else over here that I wanna put in it? I think we're good. I think we're good. But some people also put vanilla in theirs. I'm not gonna put vanilla in mine. Like I said, make it your own if you want to. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it all up and then taste and see. If I need to put anything else in there. Alright, here we go. another tablespoon of the uh, brown sweetener hmm, I don't know I'm gonna guesstimate it because I my, my tablespoon is wet so I'm gonna put a little bit more of that in here about another tablespoon a brown sweetener. So that'll total three of tablespoons of this brown sweetener and one tablespoon of the Truvia granulated. And like I said, you use what you want. It's also to me not liquidy enough. So I am actually going to add just a little bit more of heavy cream. All right, let's try this again. you guys those pecans were delicious <laughs> Daniel my grandson he split it with me <laughs> I'll be honest with you, they taste like sweet potatoes. They do taste like sweet potatoes. Don't, don't hurt me. <laughs> okay, so this is what equal two eggs. Like I said, this is my recipe. I've not done it before. This is how I cook. I do as I go. But this is going to be an amazing recipe because this is what I do every year and it turns out perfect. All right, so I put one more egg in there, which is going to total two. And just a little bit more of the brown sweetener. <laughs> If this was Truvia, I wouldn't have to do this, but the Super and Gold is not as sweet as Truvia. I mean, as the um, Swerve. Swerve's a lot sweeter. One more time. either. I like it cakey, but not, no, I don't like it cakey either. Oh my. 
sweet potato. So all together, it was probably the sweeteners was, I got four, four tablespoons of super, super and gold in here, the brown. You can also, I'm thinking probably, if you use the swerve, it might be three. But taste it. Taste it and make it the way you want it, the sweetness and stuff. I added cinnamon to it. Mm -hmm. Added a little bit more cinnamon to it than I had a little bit ago. So probably instead of a teaspoon, I probably have about a teaspoon and a half in here and I just poured a little bit of the old spice don't know how much just the spices you can do that all right so what I normally do and I'm not gonna do that because it was discouraged to do this as I normally where's my here it is. normally I would melt a butter on the bottom of a baking dish we use this baking dish I usually melt butter in there and make it real hot I love the taste of butter, and that's what I would do. They said don't do that with a keto recipe because the butter will break up and rise to the top, which I probably wouldn't mind that either. <laughs> do be honest with you. So I'm not going to do that. I am just going to take this mixture, and I am going to put it in the, in the pan, the whatever. Okay. And then we're going to make a topping. You guys, we are going to make a topping. Do this first. Y'all, can you see me okay? Because I know that my, my light is broke. I cannot believe that. I, I bet I could serve this and nobody would know the difference. My husband is addicted to sweet potatoes. But because he knows this is got cauliflower in there, he said he ain't going to try it. So what y'all need to do is say, get on here and say, Charles, you better try that. <laughs> Y'all get bossy with him because he will listen to you. I think that once he tries it, he would love it. Now I'm going to put a crunchy topping on here because I love I love nuts. Now I used to always put um, just the marshmallows on here. And the reason I did that was because my daughter, she loved the marshmallows. Um, she's no longer here with us on this earth anyway. She's in the kingdom of heaven. So... I don't do that anymore, but I love the um, I love the nuts on top. I'm going to make that, but I'm not going to put it on the top until about the last 10 minutes because I don't want it to burn, but I'll make it while I'm here with you guys so you'll know how to make it. I've actually made this before and it turned out great. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to put this in the oven, 400 degrees for about 30 minutes, maybe not quite 30 minutes um, but I do know after about 20 I'm gonna put the nuts on there or the topping um, so 400 degrees about 20 all together the cook time shouldn't take no longer than 20 between 20 and 30 minutes you just judge if you want yours moister or wetter always add more liquids you can add more cream you can add more another egg you know whatever it is make it your own all of us know how to cook we know what we like the best, but I'm telling you, this is going to be great. Tastes great already. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. i got to move all my stuff out of the way. Y'all can't see this, but there's no room. <laughs> no room to do anything. Um, this over here. I done wash dishes a couple times <laughs> within the last hour before I got on here because I was making homemade rolls. Okay. Now, as far as the pumpkin pie goes, you guys, there is a pumpkin pie recipe down in my feed. I also saved it on YouTube, so I can go and find it if you want it. If you want the pumpkin pie recipe, I think I just posted it or reposted it a few days ago because it came up in my memories. Um, that was delicious. So it's a lot like this, but not quite. This one here is definitely going to taste more like a casserole, not a pie, but I think they're a lot similar. All right, so I am going to make the crunchy topping. So I'm going to turn this thing on. I love this, you guys. I love this thing. And I'm going to put some butter in there. I'm going to put a couple of tastes. Well, there's only a little bit left. I don't have to put it all on there. 
But there's only a little tiny bit of butter left. I am not wasting butter. <laughs> Okay. All right, so what I'm going to add to that is some brown sugar again. So this I'm going to probably, it's just for the, it's just for the pecans. I'm going to put pecans in here. I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons. And let's see what this is going to basically make a crumble. It's probably about three tablespoons. I'm not getting very much from the bottom. All right, and then to that I'm going to add my pudding. This is melting. I have like a cup and a half of nuts. Let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna beat these nuts and kind of crush them up some. I should have done this beforehand. So excuse me while I make noise. I just put a hole in the bag. <laughs> I put a hole in the bag. This was my grandmother's. I think she, I think it was to beat meat, to make it tender or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, you guys. I, but you know, this is just the way I roll. Part of the bag. <laughs> All right. Throw it in there. <laughs> okay, so we'll turn it up. Stir this up really good and put it on top. So that's all I'm going to do right there. I'm just making a crumble. Um, and pretty much that's it. I'm going to put this on top of the sweet potato casserole about the last 10 minutes of, of the cook time. And I'm going to also, I'm just going to go ahead and add in some cinnamon. There is no recipe for this, this is just what I do. <laughs> there we go. Turn that up some. Alright, so I'm getting ready to cut this off because I just like I said just wanted to make a crumble. But while I am on here, thank you, Vicky. You are amazing. Thank you so much. I know I kept switching around the recipe, but it's because it wasn't recipe. <laughs> but thank you so much for doing that for me. Alright, you guys. Share this out or share another of one of my lives, cooking lives out. Um, come back to this one and let me know or private message me that you did. And if you want your shares to go to the Christmas bundle, type bundle in the comments. If you want your shares to go to the regular drawing at the end of um, December, then just say share. So that's all you gotta do. Um, let me know. And I had someone yesterday, like 10 times, she shared it out for me. If you'll do something similar to what she did, um, I asked her to split that up or to let me know. She said she wanted half of hers to go towards the Christmas bundle, half of them to go into the drawing. Um, so that's what I did. So you guys can do the same thing. Um, what I'm gonna do in the drawing is I'm gonna be giving you stuff to actually cook in your kitchen. I'm going to put, be putting like sweetener in there, some spices, maybe some pumpkins and stuff like that. I'll be putting some utensils in there for you to use for, you know, for, uh, for the keto cooking and stuff. And I'm going to give you some free ketones. That's going to be a Christmas present for somebody. So share this out. The more you share, the more you need to let me know you do it. So that many times your name goes into a bucket with either the Christmas bundle or the regular drawing. If you want them into both, share a lot and then tell me how many you want into the regular one, how many you want into the other ones. That's it. So anyway, you guys be blessed. Thank you so much, so much for joining me, especially with my imperfections here. Um, like I said, I just cooked and tasted. It tastes pretty good to me. I'll talk to y'all later.